In response to the proposed national security law for Hong Kong, the presidential office spokesman urged China to communicate with the Hong Kong people rather than further constrict their freedoms. Causeway Bay Books manager Lam Wing Ki, who has settled in Taiwan after being targeted by Beijing, is calling on his adopted homeland to accept more refugees as Hong Kong is subsumed by the Chinese state. China's National People's Congress is pushing for a new national security law for Hong Kong. The founder of Causeway Bay Books, Lam Wing Ki, says President Xi Jinping is directly responsible for the changes in Hong Kong. What is the most important thing for the emperor is to unify the whole of China. If he has the ability to unify all of China, he could surpass Mao Zedong. It looks like it's going in this direction. In 1997, Hong Kong was promised autonomy for 50 years under the constitutional principle of one country, two systems. But the promise looks to be in tatters. Pro-democracy activists like Lam are pessimistic about Hong Kong's future. If we step back a moment, we'll see that first we have to protect ourselves and leave that dangerous place. I hope the Taiwanese government will give asylum to Hong Kongers and take action to support us, rather than merely making public statements saying it supports Hong Kong protesters. Lam called on Taiwan to welcome political refugees with open arms. The president's spokesman made this statement. One country, two systems should never be equated with a liberal democracy. The only correct way to truly resolve the longing of the Hong Kong people for liberal democracy or the question of the future of Hong Kong would be for the Chinese or Hong Kong government to truly enact measures to fulfill that promise of liberal democracy made to the Hong Kong people. Next week, or May 28, Hong Kong's one country, two systems will officially vanish. This will have a grave impact on the stability and economics of the Indo-Pacific region. I think our government must continue to give this the utmost attention, and I hope that the people of Hong Kong will stay strong. While the DPP made strong statements of support for democracy in Hong Kong, the KMT also issued a press release on the same effect, adding that there is no place for Beijing's suggestion of one country, two systems for Taiwan.